Happy Friday, Friday Gateway, and, and welcome, welcome back to Oli TV. Our weekend show will have the Olympian news you need to hear and a new staff spotlight. So let's get right into the announcements. Track and baseball are highlighting our weekend. The track team will have a meet at Littleton Stadium and the baseball team will be endeavor to take on Lincoln High School starting at noon. And on Monday, the girls varsity soccer team will be at Far North East to take on the Warriors at 4.30. Go Ollies! Interested in joining the cheer team? Well, come to the Cheer Interest Meeting after school in the small gym on April 19th. You can get more information using this form here. And then, Cheer Tryouts are coming up fast, May 3rd and 4th, after school in the small gym. If you want some more tips before tryouts, come to the tryout camps on April 29th and May 2nd. Scan this QR code for more details. Please come in athletic clothes and shoes. Student body elections have concluded, everyone. Please congratulate the following student body officers for the 2022 to 2023 school year. President Aaliyah Berry and Vice President Luke White. Secretary Ashanti Gonzalez and historian, historian Cassidy Ryan. And Treasurer Melania Meader. Are you interested in making decisions for class or helping to make a positive change at Quay? Then sign up for an exclusive leadership position for your class. You can fill out the form here or email Miss Sarah at scardonaslimas at aurora12.org. <laughs> Applications are due April 27th. GSA Safe Space is today during 8 period and after school at 2.30 to 4.30. If you have an off period, come hang out. There are snacks, there are games, and there is a great conversation. We meet in room 306. Come and bring a friend and new allies are welcome. BSA and LULAC are collaborating to help with Cultural Week at the end of the month. Use this link to sign up to perform something in special regards to their culture. She is College and Career Center Coordinator, Student Council Sponsor, Soccer Coach, Volleyball coach, and most importantly, she wants to give back to her gateway community. Let's meet this week's staff spotlight. <music> Undergrad in criminal justice and psychology at MSU Denver, currently working on a getting a master's degree, and graduated from Gateway High School in 2014. I think something that I've learned um, in the process of working here and being a student here is that our hardships are really our strength. Um, so really finding where kids' stories are and finding strength in that instead of having weaknesses and using that as excuses, but instead using it to motivate themselves. Ms. Cardona's hometown is Aguascalientes, Mexico, but she was raised here in Aurora, Colorado. Ms. Cardona stated that she was at a juvenile facility prior to her start here at Gateway High School. She was working with juveniles that fell into a system and wanted to be able to more proactively serve these individuals. There was an opportunity for her to start here at Gateway in a curricular position. This was presented to her a few months after she graduated. Coming back to Gateway was an opportunity for her to give back to her community. She knew there was diversity at Gateway, and being that she was relatively close in age, there was an opportunity for more trust to genuinely make an impact. Ms. Cardona never thought she would end up in education, but she has loved being able to help the young futures of her community. Anything that they've taught me is that uh, we can really be resilient and overcome anything to really accomplish our goals, so I just really love this community. Thank you for all you do for your community here at Gateway. That's why you're this week's Gateway Staff Spotlight. Have a good day, Olympians. <laughs>